more sure word judgment israel's 70 weeks today we will overlay on our timeline judgment events directly impacting the israelite nation judgment in daniel chapter 8 we saw the little horn the papacy invading god's church and desecrating the connection between humanity and our creator Daniel was deeply concerned about these events and heard a saint inquire about how long the desecration would last. Daniel heard the response that in 2,300 days the sanctuary would be cleansed. That statement would bring one event to Daniel's mind. As an Israelite, Daniel knew that the cleansing of the sanctuary referred to the most solemn of the sacrificial services in the annual temple cycle the day of atonement detailed in leviticus chapter 16. hearing this daniel was understandably concerned because god had promised the people of judah through jeremiah that they would return to jerusalem after 70 years the temple in jerusalem was destroyed by the babylonians Daniel knew that this number was prophetic, and 2,300 years was a long time to be in captivity, waiting for the temple to be rebuilt. Daniel's fears were calmed. The people of Judah would return after 70 years were complete. Daniel was told to shut up this vision because its fulfillment was going to be a long way off. Opening the vision. Daniel wanted to understand what was meant by this 2,300 years. He prayed and confessed his sins and the sins of his people, requesting clarity. Then, the angel Gabriel came to him with a breakdown of events in this extended time period. He began informing Daniel that his people, the people of Judah, the remnants of Israel, had 70 prophetic weeks cut off from the 2,300 prophetic days to submit to God and do the work assigned them. Gabriel then told Daniel that the clock begins when the command goes out to restore and build Jerusalem. From that time, after seven prophetic weeks, the restoration of Jerusalem would be complete. Then, 62 prophetic weeks later, the Messiah would be anointed, following which, he would be cut off for the sins of the world. This comes to 69 prophetic weeks. However, Judah had 70 weeks to submit to God. In that final prophetic week, the Messiah would come, confirm the covenant with many, and would bring the sacrificial system to an end. Israel Let's take a look at this prophecy in more detail. The people of Israel were selected by God to be the bearers of truth to the world. Isaiah 42, 6, 49, 6. After the Lord brought them into the promised land, they repeatedly mingled with their heathen neighbors and fell into idolatry, thereby neglecting their duty. Eventually, the people demanded a king against God's will and due to the sins of their king, the nation was divided. The ten tribes in the north selected a series of evil kings that led them into captivity and dispersal beyond human identification, 2 Kings 15.29 and 17.20-25. The southern two tribes, with the Levites, had a few good kings interspersed among evil kings, whose sins led them into captivity. However, with their identity intact, during this captivity, God gave Daniel visions of the future with this 70-week warning for his people. As the only remaining identifiable group of Israel's descendants, the purpose of this people fell to the southern kingdom of Judah. The Lord declared that 70 weeks were cut off for his people from the longer timeline of 2,300 days Daniel received earlier. The people of Judah had 70 prophetic weeks to repent, make an end of their sinning, and reconcile with their God in preparation for the anointing of the Messiah in fulfillment of the prophecies. 
We learned earlier that in prophecy, a day represents a year. Numbers 14.34, Ezekiel 4.6 Therefore, because there are seven days to the week, we can deduce that there are seven years to a prophetic week. The remnant of Israel had 70 prophetic weeks to prepare themselves to do the work God assigned them. Simple math reveals that 70 prophetic weeks times 7 prophetic days per week brings us to 490 literal years. Judah had 490 years to reconcile with God. But when did this time begin? Start time. Daniel was told that the clock started when the command went out to restore and build Jerusalem. The details of this decree can be found in Ezra chapter 7. The information given in Ezra chapter 7 pinpoints the issuance of this decree to the year 457 BC. Daniel's vision also gave more details. From the time this decree went out to the time that the Messiah would be anointed was broken into two periods, seven weeks and 62 weeks. It would take seven prophetic weeks, 49 years, for Jerusalem to be rebuilt, and this would occur in troublous times. We see these troublesome times outlined in Nehemiah's experience. Then, 62 prophetic weeks 434 years later, the Messiah would be anointed. The sum total of time from the issuance of Artaxerxes' decree to the anointing of the Messiah would be 69 prophetic weeks, 483 literal years. 483 years from 457 BC brings us to 27 AD. This is the year when Jesus of Nazareth, being 30 years old, went down to the Jordan River, was baptized by John, anointed by the Holy Spirit, and affirmed by the Father in heaven, as recorded in Matthew 3, 13-17, and Luke 3, 1-23. This brings us to 69 prophetic weeks. But Israel had 70 prophetic weeks. What happened to the last week? The last week. After 62 weeks, the Messiah would be cut off, but not for himself. This prophecy tells us that the Messiah would die, but not for any sin he had committed. He would be cut off in the middle of the last prophetic week of Israel's 70 weeks. A prophetic week is seven years, so therefore, half a prophetic week is three and a half years. The Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth, after his anointing, confirmed the covenant by ministering to humanity for three and a half years. During his life on earth, he committed no transgression of God's holy law. John 8, 46, John 14, 30 and 31, John 15, 10. In the spring of 31 AD, Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. The blameless, sinless, perfect sacrifice for humanity. This brought a complete end to the animal sacrifices done in the Israelite system. The earthly temple was no longer needed. This was confirmed when the veil in the temple that separated the holy place from the most holy place ripped in two from top to bottom. A complete end was brought to the system in 70 AD when the Roman army overran and demolished the temple and Jerusalem. This happened just as Jesus prophesied in Matthew 24 and Luke 21. But the covenant was to be confirmed for a full week. Jesus died in the middle of that week. What of the remaining three and a half years? Well, Jesus' disciples continued his work, ministering to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 10, 5-7 In obedience to Jesus' instructions, for three and a half years, they preached the gospel of the Messiah to Israelites only. Then, in 34 AD, the Jewish leaders stoned Stephen for preaching about Jesus of Nazareth. Acts 7 This marked 
the completion of the 70 prophetic week time of mercy given to the Israelite nation. After this point, the disciples went into other nations preaching the gospel of salvation to Gentiles. Here is a summary of events in the 70 prophetic weeks appointed to the remnant of Israel following the decree for their return to Jerusalem. Here we have a summary of some of the details we've overlaid on our timeline. Next time, we'll analyze the remainder of the 2300-day timeline leading to the start of judgment for the entire world.